All right, here we go, boys and girls. The brand new way to play Ash Support. We've been playing it wrong all along. No more comment. We're going to be abusing Halo Blades. Literally just running these clowns down with my built-in uh, aug glacial augment on my autos. Halo Blades, Cheap Shot, Zombie Ward, Ultimate Hunter, Biscuit Delivery, Approach Velocity, 80-80 Armor. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the trades. Halo Blades broken, baby. And we're going to be uh, mixing up the build a little bit. We're not going to be rushing Imperial Mandate. We're going to be going uh, Man Immune. Just gives you so much more agency. Look, dude, like Halo Blades has like no cooldown either. Okay. I'm absolutely down to trade my entire health bar like that. I have way more sustain because I got biscuits. I'm going to throw my E over there. I'm going to keep boinking him with the, the poke. All right, Vayne has Doran Shield, but she's out of potions now. So the only way we really die is if Ramus ganks us, which is a very real possibility. We're playing double marks in bot lane. So this is basically just like trading off the little bit of Comet poke that you get for just inf one, just like being able to defend yourself better. You're way less like reliant on your W to like actually contribute to the game. Like actually just make use of auto Ash's autos much better with Hob. But you do do lose out on like a you know a tiny bit of poke from Comet. It's also much easier to proc your Q now that I think about it with Halo Blades. Like you get your Q way more often, way faster. I'm trying to stay relatively healthy here though. Because Ram Ram could be rolling down in the bot lane very soon. Put a ward out as far as I can up here. Do you go haste build? Yep, so we're gonna go man immune, CDR boots, Imperial Mandate. Oh, so close. Wait. Boom! From downtown. Lovely, lovely. Also, Xiaomi's doing a assist challenge. So she's going to donate $5 for every assist that we get. No, nothing for kills. So we want to rack up the assist this game. Ramus is top. Guys, I can't believe it. We've been, we've been playing Ash support wrong our entire lives. Got 1k goal. Oh, oh, oh. Close. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this vein is getting farmed. So this is a platinum vein main. You think she's having fun, guys? Look, I've gotten 20 Halo Blades autos off. It's like 15 more autos than I would have gotten otherwise. If I went common, I mean. Shut down. We're five minutes into the game. All right, tier CDR boots. We're good to go. Actually, I think we I think we go call fields. Now nah, we'll go we'll go CDR boots. CDR boots are just so nice, guys. They've got double Doran shield. That's how you know you're absolutely dominating the bot lane if you made the support by a Doran shield. That's brutal.
Rayleigh's kind of struggling. That's all right. We'll carry through, Bop. Bye bye. And then we hit him with the perma slow. Easy, easy. Another 10 bucks in the bank, baby. Yeah, it's just like so much easier for you to like path forward in fights like that with Halo Blades. So we got the approach velocity, making it so, I mean, everything we do to them slows them or stuns them. So we just get to have permanent approach velocity up. Now we've got our ulti. Oh my lord. Look at this, man. Look at this. Oh my god, man. What are we doing to them? I'm down, I'm down the dive, maybe. Probably doesn't work, actually. That's uh, as, as a tanky boy right there. I just feel so much more limber. There's just so much less downtime between my auto attacks. Yo, Reaper! A boy. Thirty-four freaking months, almost an entire year. Dang, a long time. Been running Sona a lot lately, and have had so much better games, and have been climbing so much. I got to silver three, and still going. Think I'm switching from brand OTP to Sona OTP lol. Ah. Ah. Yo, Reaper with the thirty-four months. Thank you so so much, man. They did get you know, the the, the eventual gank. It was inevitable, honestly. But uh, can we get some gasms in the chat, man? Think it's switching from brand OTP to Sona. Wow, it's a big change, bro. I think you will definitely have more success as a as a Sona one trick pony. Maybe a little less exciting, and you'll have less like one v nines. But Sona's a way more useful champion in way more games. I shouldn't have wasted my ulti because I could have ulted them right there. Could have been an angle. Spotted Ram Ram. Would Halo Blades work on Senna? No. She does terrible with all, uh, attack speed ratios. And it just doesn't feel right on that character. Like, building lethality feels right. You want to walk up, auto Q, maybe W, and conclude the trade. Oh? Ah, the second I exhausted, they flashed, man. Not a great exhaust, but we're fine, we're fine. It's also nice not having Scorch in our room. Oh my god. Uh, guys, not looking too good for me. Oh, we got Tom, actually. Not bad. Almost at our man immune. Big freaking power spike there. Alright, so we probably can't push literally all the way to tier 2 turret, but... As long as we don't do that, we're, we're good. Let's go get plates mid. Do you still build Mandate with Halo Blades? Yes. Yeah, that this item is just way too good for Ash support. 
Like, it's incredibly gold efficient. It procs on a really, really low cooldown with your W. Oh, nice. Nice. I can't believe this is a close game. Like, look, look how hard we're dominating bot lane. How is this close? Got dragon in 30. <laughs> oh my god, man. No! Oh, he's, he got executed, though. Do you think this can work for real and challenger? Absolutely, yeah. Um, Mako, who plays on EDG, literally won worlds. He's playing this Ash build right now on Challenger. I don't know if it's on the Korean server or the Chinese super server or what, but I know he's playing it. Yeah, and something that we haven't really been able to show off a lot this game is that, like, not against Ramus, absolutely not against Ramus, but there's a lot of junglers where, like, you can literally just, like, roam at, like, level one, and because your character's just so stacked early, you can literally just, like, 1v1 the jungler, or at least, like, harass them off of camps and stuff like that. You just roam around the map. That's how, uh, that's how Tyler1 plays it. Still have exhaust. Oh my god, he's not gonna die. <laughs> How freaking funny is that, man? Let's go, let's go terrorize Riven. Nah, he's going back. I, I want to play around Ophelios for sure. We'll go back and get uh, some CDR. Bandoglass. Bandoglass. Also, another part about... Uh, another nice thing about this is that when you go man immune first, your AD shards won't swap over to AP until you complete your Imperial Mandate. So unfortunately, Imperial Mandate does have five more AP than Man Immune gives you AD. So once I complete the item, it will swap over. But by the time I have the, the item, it's it's fine to have uh, AP shards. Just pick her up, bud. Just pick her up. Yeah, that was like a that was one of the weakest parts about uh, rushing Imperial Mandate is you would you would change you would swap your AD. AD shards into AP before you even have anything that skills with AP. I can't auto this guy. I think I think I'll die. Oh, I won't. Oopsie, he's got a kill. I guess Ramus didn't have his W on there. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I can't stress it enough. This is so much better of a way of playing Ash support. Than the Comet, Comet style. Comet style is pretty fun and, like, funny. Oh my god, man. <laughs> no! No! 
I did. Triple kill. Guys, I think it might be a little bit of a bot gap. I literally just got my mythic. All right, well, now we just became even more obnoxious because now our W's burn quite a bit of damage. I'll, I'll shoot an arrow down mid just in case it saves someone. And like, I've got a super low quit on anyway, so. Boom. Wanting to contest on this. Hello, Ribbon. It is I, Ash Support, here to stop you from playing the game. My know only yep, now we just got burning arrows on a two second cooldown. Why me, bro? Rip the five dollars. Oh, let's go get dragon. The arrow cooldown is messed up. Oh, it's insane that like I I can't believe they haven't balanced this yet. Like this is such a massively impactful ultimate. Like so much of my my power budget is in my ultimate, and like I get to use it every like twenty seconds. Like, it's to the point where, like, you can literally just use your ultimate for fun. Yeah, like, I, I just used my ultimate for fun. I'm going to back, and it's going to be up again. And, like, if it lands, you that, that's the thing is you can just fish with it. Like, there, there are entire team comps that you can just, like, sit back, wait for Ash to hit a random arrow, kill that person, and win the game off of it. It's like, oh, we'll, I guess we'll just shoot at mid again. Deal a, you know, casual 800 damage. Oh, yeah. yeah it wasn't 800 damage against her, but... Oh, that's because Guardian absorbed it. Uh, I don't know if we can do that with them right here. Seek peace, but bring the tools of war. That was a pretty fast Baron. Oh, got the kinch. <laughs> Talia flashed. Dude, if Talia just let it hit her, Tom Kinch could have picked them up and they both could have lived. Oh! Suicide baller Ramus. Wait, farm, farm KDA? Farm, farm KDA? Oh my, oh, he, he got them both. Okay, that that's pretty messed up, bro. I, I don't agree with that. And now we end the game. <laughs> 
3, 3, and 25. GG, boys. G freaking G. And there it is. I literally outdamaged everyone on their team playing Ash support. Aphelios with 36.5k. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, guys, we've got a brand new way to play Ash support, and it's 10 times better than it used to be. If you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think with the build and strat down in the comments. Boys, take it easy. Peace. Uh.